betting big on something very small. Which will set out our vision to be a world-leading, quantum-enabled economy by 2033. This year, the government committed £2.5 billion to the next decade of quantum technology. That means currently the UK has put more public funding into quantum than the US. And it's more than twice what the government announced this year for semiconductors, technology essential for much of modern life. Quantum technology uses the fundamental properties of individual particles. Take probably the most famous example, quantum computing. Normal computers use binary code, vast strings of zeros and ones. If you had two bits, that would give you four options for what that code could be. Quantum replaces zeros and ones with particle states. For example, a particle could be polarized one way or the other. Quantum mechanics, though, actually allows for something weird. Particles can be in both states at the same time. So rather than four options, it can code for all of them at once. That can mean better encryption or just a chance for a brand new way of looking at problems. So it's not going to speed up Excel, it's not going to make Facebook run any faster, but it will help us completely re-revolutionise the way we design new drugs, make them more efficient, uh, optimise logistical networks or accelerate machine learning. The UK has historic strengths in many of the fields necessary for this tech and we started investing a decade ago. Companies have already been spun out of cutting-edge British research. One of them, Orca, has sold five computers, including the first quantum machine to the Ministry of Defence. They argue it's precisely that we're in the early stages of this technology which makes it the right time to commit as a country. The existing semiconductor industry is fairly well formed. There are some new maybe developments which the UK can get on top of. But in general, the main players, the main investments have been made and have been made decades ago. Quantum is a completely new industry. The game hasn't been won, and in fact, the, the game is just beginning. Computers aren't the only use for quantum. Individual particles are very sensitive to their surroundings. In Nottingham, they're harnessing that potential to develop sensors. What quantum has allowed us to do is turn this sort of giant machine in, into, in, into this. Um, so this little sensor. Oh, it's like a um, fraction of the size. Do they do the same thing? Yeah, this and this? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, 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 um, These tiny bricks can detect the faint magnetic field produced by your brain, which can help pinpoint the exact location of electrical activity, which is useful for studies like this into Tourette's or as part of planning treatment for epileptic patients. Children don't even need to sit still while it happens. So I'll talk to you from Apple. The spin-out company here is already selling its technology to large research institutions in the US. Academics say they've been helped by the way the UK's quantum program has been run. Nationwide hubs were designed to bring together not just scientists, but industry too. Academia has been driven by the end user, the end goal. So it, it's not the case that, you know, we, we develop a sensor or system and then try, try to dole it out to industry and, and they say, well, it's no use to us. Um, industry have come and they said, this is what we want, and that's allowed UK academia to actually deliver in, in perhaps a way that, that's not been done before. None of this early success, of course, means the UK is guaranteed a thriving quantum industry. China are investing roughly five times the UK's funds, and this week IBM announced their quantum data centre will be based in Germany. To compete, the UK will need to attract talent. The UK Quantum Technologies programme rests on a relatively small number of people. Um, and if, if they do move, then it, it, it does become fragile. I certainly know people who work with me um, have been given very good offers to go and work in, in, in particular North America. Some who've chosen to leave acknowledge the UK was leading the world. But they can also see dreams of a future industry will need more than products. It needs homes for that technology too. I think the UK has been really good in kickstarting the supply chain. It hasn't accelerated the market pull as much. And for that, I think we really need to get the right companies on board. There has been a very notable initiative by BAE, BP and BT uh, to create a national accelerator for quantum sensors. Um, to look into the like, energy, defense, and communication infrastructures and think about the innovation there. But that definitely needs a program to like, make it really happen. 
I often describe the UK as having a very strong opening game, but maybe not having so much experience at the late stages at the end game when it comes to scaling companies up, maintaining market position and things like that. I think quantum is one of the ways that we can change that. Each quantum investment holds risk, but the UK's burgeoning industry argues the future for the technology is a safe bet.